Six amazing things you have missed when you haven't been to the Form Next 2024 in Frankfurt. There are a lot of interesting things. There are a lot more than six interesting things on this conference. However, I tried to pick some interesting, some niche things, some things you will probably see in the future. I hope you enjoy them. This, my friends, is 3D print number one, and it's actually pretty fun. Let me show you. This is a 3D printed basketball, how you probably can see. And we have seen a lot of 3D printed basketballs by now. Some went good, some were kind of bad. However, this SLS 3D printed basketball by Wilson, number six out of 50 airless gen one is super bouncy. It's just, it just goes. I think it's super cool. I don't know how long it will last. I don't know how expensive it is. Maybe we can ask someone. Would you mind telling me how long this basketball would, would last? Oh, I don't know, to yeah. be honest. This is a project from Wilson, so they yeah. did all the testing, all yeah. the validation. I can tell you that as far as we know, it passed all the tests okay. to become an official ball for the NBA. Yeah. You cannot buy this right now, can you? You could have bought it. For $3,000? Yeah, but it's sold out. Okay. So this is number six of 50, yeah. and yeah. it's sold out within a few hours. As okay. Far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Impressive. I really like the bounciness. It's really impressive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Really impressive yeah. piece of technology. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This, my friends, is number two, and it needed to be a shoe. Just behind me, there's Poly Polymer. I don't know how exactly to say this. And they have these 3D printed shoes. I think it's kind of amazing. There are quite a lot of 3D printed shoes around, like Hagiers had some, some other companies had some, but just in general that you like start printing and seeing shoes 3D printed. I think it's amazing. Um, what's the use case for the shoe? Because like when it's raining, it's not the great shoe, right? I usually yeah, it's leisure, like like day walking, yeah, like beach, beach, uh, and yeah. It has been worn for this pair for like more than two years. Yeah, three years. These pairs. Yes. And how do they look from the bottom? Oh. Shady. Oh. Shady. oh, that looks good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This, my friends, is number three, and it's something you should see. It's the Aligu Orange Storm Giga with a build plate of 80 by 80 by one meter. It's super massive. It's the printer for the big guys. And just in general, seeing all these huge printers on this conference, I've never seen something like that. It's just interesting to see how big you can print, how massive these printers are. I just dropped the bottom. Sorry guys. Can we not talk about that? Just things like this, I'm really sorry. And things like the printer, I think it's like something to come to this conference. Super impressive. Thank you. Yes, in one in one sole unit you will find the wash, uh, sorry, the print, the wash, the cure and the rinse. Yeah. And you will be making a, a platform in every 20 seconds. Every 20 seconds? Yes, so layer. the smaller unit that's starting yeah. here will make more than 3 million uh, dental models uh, per year. So it's already in use in some companies? Yeah, we've used it internally and it will be the first installation quarter, the first quarter of next year. Okay, okay. And it will be mainly, uh, the, the first one is for dental models. But you can do any other item. This yeah. is the closest you can find to injection molding. And there's a barrel there that I can show you, and that's yeah. 300,000 units in four hours. In just four hours, 300,000. And these are just connectors? or? Yeah, these are connectors that go in a, in a, in a board. Unfortunately, someone took it. So it, 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 it's the four connectors, so you can put the electronic board. Is it 300,000? Uh, yeah. I, I, I won't count. No. <laughs> I trust you. No, no, because I've seen some people taking some out. So okay. probably they're 250,000 now. <laughs> and you can have a good reference of how long and the cost here. Yeah. 
this, my friends, is number five. Um, so this um, is around about 2,000 euros. Yeah. Um, and it's completely wireless, so that means um, you don't need uh, a PC for this. Yeah. So you scan everything, you can do the mesh, you can do the editing, and then, of course, we have a different um, um, software for the PC, but you don't need it, actually, um, yeah. to scan. No PC required, you okay. just turn it on yeah. like, a, like, a, like a mobile phone, and then yeah. you just scan. Okay. Do you see them coming close to a thousand or under a thousand anytime soon, scanners in general? Maybe yes, um, we already have a scanner that costs 1000 euros yeah. and that's the previous model from this but yeah. that's with the wires so that means you have to connect to the PC. Yeah, and do you need a powerful PC? I would say a gaming PC you would gaming need for PC. this, yes. Could I use an Apple M1? With MacBook it will also work. Yeah. Okay. So if you have an M1 chip, M1 and more, yeah. it yeah. will work. Okay, yes. okay. So for me, I was always wondering why would you need a scanner and I think for fixing things, broken stuff where you just want to recreate something, I think it's super useful but I was just wondering what would you use the scanner for and why do you think it's amazing? Um, I would also say for example medical industries, yeah. um, for example if you have a patient who wants a customized um, um, arm, then you can scan um, his body and, and, and the patient or a doctor can have a customized uh, solution for them. Okay. So you yeah. can scan um, humans really quickly with this scanner. This, my friends, is number six and my feelings are a little mixed. No, they are not really mixed, they are pretty awesome. Um, we are in front of the Bamboo Lab area and I think Bamboo Lab, they made a really good choice by uh, getting all the creators together. I saw Jonathan over there, you can see his multi-board wall all over there. He has the channel Keep Making. We saw Jonathan from the next layer, we saw Alexander Chappelle, we saw Arne Bornheim and quite a lot of other creators. And you have these huge 3D prints which just show what you can print. Um, obviously a lot of small parts stacked together. Kind of awesome. You also have this playground over here where you can battle against each other. Yesterday we saw a battle wars with uh, Alexander Chappelle and a few other like YouTubers, two versus two with these forklifts. Kind of funny. Uh, kind of a lot of people watching. They have their own film team. They also brought over creators and makers like Andre with the A1 Mini. Uh, it's a swap mode. The swap mode. Swap yeah. mode. It's a modification one A1 Mini. Yeah. So you can just print constantly. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, we have a magazine with uh, up to 10 or 15 plates. Yeah. And uh, the preprinter just print. It's uh, very comfy for, for people who run the production or for just enthusiasts who want to print uh, big projects with, an, yeah. you know, with, with, with no, uh, no effort. Do you plan to uh, also develop it for the A1? It's, it's planned it uh, will come next year. Next year? Yeah. Okay. One in 70 euros. 70 euros. And uh, dollars? Do you sell it in the US? It's not sold in the US. It's not sold in the US. Sorry, 30%. Do you plan to sell it in the US anytime soon? Yes, uh, it will also come next year. Thank you very much. That was it already. I need to leave. I'm kind of in a hurry. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something today. Maybe not. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Chinese is still good.